Tonight, environmental justice and climate groups were in the Shiloh community in Elba once again as they are continuing to tackle the ongoing flooding crisis. They are working to come up with solutions that could come to fruition within the next year. WDHN's Robert Smith has the story all new at six. Soon the ball. The father of environmental justice and Elba native Dr. Robert Bullard visiting the flooding prone Shiloh community once again, this time with a pool of national experts to come up with solutions to fix the ongoing flooding issue. Environmental groups and organizations from about seven states, along with the Bullard Center, visited the Shiloh community for a community tour and listening session. For most of the groups, it's their first time visiting, but it's the second meeting in five months. We are seeking uh, solutions, and in order to get solutions, uh, we have this tour and we have this listening session, and we want to hear from the residents themselves what they have been experiencing in terms of of the flooding and so we want to hear all of that and then we want to take that information back and um, and put it together and come up with some recommendations. Over the last five months, Dr. Bullard has been inviting the Shiloh community to attend environmental justice and climate conferences in New Orleans to share their story with others and find out about resources that could be available to them. Dr. Bullard says although there hasn't been any physical work done to resolve the issue, progress has been made, such as uncovering hidden problems. The five-year ongoing flooding battle has gained national attention recently. The rest of the country knew very little about Elba and Shiloh, Alabama. Uh, this bad situation could be a good example of how to apply uh, resources to fix um, and solve uh, problems that have been hidden for too long. Dr. Bullard is referring to the constant water that comes from the elevated Highway 84 during heavy periods of rain, which makes them feel like they are in a bowl. Williams, a homeowner and business owner, says it's getting worse. His roof is dipping and the foundation is sinking and shifting toward a gas line. He says his insurance sent out a structure engineer and confirmed in a report it's the state's fault. So now what's going on is that the claim, they will not uh, honor the claim, and so therefore if the house collapse, we're going to be without a home. Dr. Buller says they are looking at federal resources within the U.S. Department of Transportation, like the Justice 40 initiative, that will give 40 percent of federal investments to disadvantaged communities. So we're talking about using, uh, getting this resolved and using federal funds under this current administration in terms of uh, President Biden and Vice President Harris. That's what we're talking about. Dr. Buller says he will continue to come back to the Shiloh community in Elba until they have some solutions and even resources earmarked to resolve this matter. Reporting in Elba, Robert Smith, WDHN News for The Wiregrass.